Welcome back to the Lost Book of Herbal Remedies. I'm Emma, and today we're diving deep into something truly fascinating. Recent research has uncovered a critical connection between upper gastrointestinal health and an increased risk of developing Parkinson's disease. And I'm Alex. It's mind-blowing when you think about it. What goes on in your gut might be a significant factor in the development of neurodegenerative disorders like Parkinson's. The study we'll be discussing today found that upper GI mucosal damage, things like ulcers, erosions, and inflammation, can increase the risk of Parkinson's by a staggering 76%. That's a huge number. It really is, Alex. It's the kind of finding that makes you rethink the importance of gut health. We've always known the gut plays a role in digestion, but to see it connected to something like Parkinson's, which primarily affects the brain and motor function, really shows just how interconnected the body is. The research we're looking at delves into the gut-brain axis, the idea that what happens in the gut can influence what happens in the brain. Exactly. One theory called the gut-first hypothesis suggests that for some people, Parkinson's might actually start in the gut and travel to the brain via the vagus nerve. This is particularly interesting because many patients report gastrointestinal issues like constipation years before they experience any motor symptoms. Yes, that's one of the key points. The researchers studied patients who had undergone upper endoscopies and found that those with mucosal damage were significantly more likely to develop Parkinson's later on. It's not just the presence of these gut issues, though. The pathogenesis, how the disease starts and progresses, could very well be influenced by upper GI health. One of the main contributors to this damage is Helicobacter pylori, a bacterium that's known to cause ulcers. What's worrying is that 8 pylori not only affects the gut, but also seems to have a role in causing systemic inflammation. This inflammation can damage neurons and potentially contribute to neurodegenerative conditions like Parkinson's. It's another example of how chronic inflammation can have widespread effects on the body. And then there's GERD, gastroesophageal reflux disease, which is another condition linked to upper GI damage people with GERD were also found to be at higher risk for Parkinson's. So it's clear that we need to be vigilant when it comes to gut health. Early intervention could be key to reducing the risk of these kinds of long-term debilitating diseases. Absolutely, Emma. But let's switch gears a bit and talk about the bigger picture. How does this all tie into the gut-brain axis? This is where things get really interesting. The gut-brain axis refers to the two-way communication between the gut and the brain meaning that what happens in one can affect the other. In this case, damage to the GI mucosa, the lining of the stomach and intestines, can send inflammatory signals to the brain, potentially contributing to the onset of Parkinson's. Which makes sense, especially when you consider that many neurodegenerative diseases are linked to inflammation. Chronic inflammation in the gut can lead to systemic effects. H. pylori infections, for instance, are associated with a higher risk of Parkinson's because of the inflammatory response they trigger. And with the rise of antibiotic-resistant strains of H. pylori, it's becoming more challenging to treat these infections. That's where next-generation sequencing, NGS, comes in. It's a game-changing technology that allows us to identify genetic biomarkers and tailor treatments for infections like H. pylori. By understanding an individual's genetic makeup and the specific resistance patterns of the bacteria, clinicians can develop more effective treatments. And ultimately, that could help reduce the gut damage that contributes to Parkinson's. We've come a long way. And now let's talk about one of the most exciting aspects of this research, herbal interventions. There's a natural compound called DA9601, derived from Asian mugwort, that has shown remarkable gastroprotective effects. It's been approved for treating gastritis in Korea, and studies have found that it helps protect against GI damage, particularly in people who are on NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. NSAIDs, while effective for pain, are notorious for causing GI damage, ulcers, bleeding, and more. What's amazing about DA9601 is that it protects the GI lining from this kind of damage. Studies have even shown that it works as well as proton pump inhibitors and rebemipide, which are commonly used to treat gastric issues. So DA9601 could be a game changer for anyone dealing with GI issues due to long-term NSAID use. It's so impressive, Alex. And it's not just about protecting the gut. DA9601 also reduces systemic inflammation, which, as we've seen, 
plays a huge role in neurodegenerative diseases. Protecting the gut could very well mean protecting the brain. Absolutely. And there are other herbs that can support gut and brain health. For example, turmeric is well known for its anti-inflammatory properties, thanks to curcumin, its active compound. Curcumin has been shown to reduce oxidative stress and inflammation in the brain, which can help protect against neurodegeneration. Another great one is licorice, specifically Glyceriza glabra. Licorice is known for its mucoprotective properties, which means it helps heal and protect the mucosal lining of the gut. This is particularly important for people dealing with ulcers or GERD. And we can't forget about ginger, a fantastic digestive aid with anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial properties. Ginger can help manage H. pylori infections, reducing the bacterial load in the gut, which in turn lowers the risk of mucosal damage and inflammation. And then there's berberine, found in barberry. It's another antimicrobial that helps balance gut flora and control H. pylori infections. Keeping the gut's bacterial balance in check is key to maintaining overall health. Let's also mention ashwagandha, an adaptogen that reduces stress and supports the gut-brain axis. Chronic stress can wreak havoc on the body, but ashwagandha helps build resilience, which is great for both gut and brain health. One more powerful herb is green tea. The active compound EGCG has strong antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects that help protect against cellular damage in both the gut and brain. Green tea can be a great addition to a daily routine for people looking to support both digestive and neurological health. And speaking of immune modulation, there's another angle we need to consider. IL-37, a cytokine that plays a crucial role in controlling inflammation. People with chronic GI conditions like ulcers often have reduced levels of IL-37, which leads to unchecked inflammation. Boosting IL-37 could help manage these conditions. There are herbs that help modulate IL-37 levels. Boswellia serrata, or frankincense, is one of them. It's well known for its ability to reduce inflammation by inhibiting pro-inflammatory cytokines. Then there's nettle, which helps balance immune responses and manage inflammation. And let's not forget Baikal skullcap, which has both anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. It supports immune regulation and helps reduce inflammation in the body. These herbs offer a lot of promise, but there are also some important safety considerations to keep in mind. If you're thinking about incorporating these herbs into your routine, it's essential to consult with a healthcare professional, especially if you're taking prescription medications or have existing health conditions. Right. Some herbs, like licorice, can interact with medications, such as corticosteroids or antihypertensives. And ginger may interact with anticoagulants, so it's important to be cautious. Always start with lower doses and gradually increase as tolerated. And some herbs are meant for short-term use, while others can be used long-term under supervision. It's all about finding the right balance for your body's needs. The big takeaway here is that maintaining gut health could be a key strategy in reducing the risk of developing neurodegenerative diseases like Parkinson's. Whether it's through herbal interventions, diet, or conventional treatments, protecting the gut can have far-reaching benefits for the brain. Exactly. And if you want to learn more about the connection between gut health and Parkinson's, be sure to check out the full article on our website. We go into even more detail about the research, herbs, and practical steps you can take. Thanks for tuning in to The Lost Book of Herbal Remedies. Stay informed, stay healthy, and we'll see you next time. Take care, everyone.